Let's start by downloading EdNote. Click Library Resources from one Bellerman. Next, go to the very bottom under Additional Library Services. Uh, click EndNote Research Management. Next, you're going to click this uh, bold link here. You'll have to log in. And once you log in, you'll, uh, you're, you'll get to this screen right here. So log in using your Bellerman credentials. Okay, so go ahead and click the one that, one that says, if you're on a PC, go ahead and click this one, EndNote PC, then click Download. All right, when it's undownloaded, you can click this arrow and click Show in Folder. And you see it right here in your Downloads folder. So you can right-click, right-click it, and we're going to extract it. So right-click, Extract All. And we're going to extract it to our uh, desktop. So click Browse, click Desktop, and then click Select Folder. Now click Extract. All right, uh, it opened up in a new window, but we can close that window and see it on our desktop right here. So we can go ahead and double click that and then click the installer right here. If you don't do it that way, you're gonna have a hard time with the um, getting the Bellerman access. So click next. You should be able to install it uh, just like any other program. I just click typical. All right, once it's done, click Finish. Now, my, uh, it, it doesn't make any desktop icons, so what I, I like to add mine to my taskbar. So I go over here to Search, and I click, type in EndNote. I right-click right here uh, by the EndNote icon, and I want to pin mine to the taskbar. And you can see it appeared over here. All right, so now we can go ahead and click that icon and open it up. That's okay. You shouldn't get that when you open yours up. And then we're going to go ahead and go to File, and we're going to click New. So we're going to create a new library. And now we're going to name our library. So my EndNote library, we'll change this to Example. But you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to save mine on the desktop, but you can save yours wherever you wherever you like. All right, and then now this is the uh, this screen is the library, uh, your reference library. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to the internet and start adding these, start adding some references in here. All right, so let's start by going to um, Eric. And we can just type in some terms. And let's say we uh, we find an article and we like it, and we want to add that to our EndNote library uh, from from the uh, from the page. Just go over here to click Export and um, Direct Export RIS is already selected, which is the EndNote format. So just go ahead and click save. This should go ahead and prompt a download in your taskbar. And all you gotta do is click that and it will automatically open up into um, EndNote. And now you can click that reference and you can see the information provided from that um, EndNote reference file. Another thing that you can do, um, what I've been doing to kind of organize right now is under research notes I will label this with some keywords okay so that was from uh, Eric let's go ahead and go to Google Scholar and I think uh, most other sites are gonna be like this uh, they're gonna have the option as well so go ahead and search for an interesting article and let's click the article and read the abstract. And we liked it. We uh, we liked it, so we can go ahead and click um, citations right here. All 
I'm sorry, we can go ahead and click download citation uh, right here. Uh, RIS, which is the EndNote format, is already selected. Uh, so we can go ahead and click, uh, it gives you some other options as well. Just go ahead and click download citation. And then same process, go ahead and click that and it will launch into EndNote. Uh, our reference library is in this window right here and we can just click that button to bring it up. Uh, you can see here that um, it imported under import references, but if we go um, and click all references right here, um, this is all the references that we've imported so far. And so that's how you import from Google Scholar and Eric. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more um, to show how we can work with those and, and import those into a Word document. Okay, now you can see um, you can see that I have eight references here. Uh, now, uh, up here is the the style, a quick menu for the style. Okay, so you can click APA six edition. Now, for some reason, EndNote, uh, at least mine, does not come with APA seventh edition. All right, so we want to go ahead and change that, and we want to go ahead and uh, import the seventh edition. Uh, you could probably get away with the sixth edition. Um, so, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download the uh, 7th edition and add it to EndNote and that will teach you a little bit about uh, EndNote as well. We're going to Google um, EndNote 7th APA 7 download. Now the first one's going to be probably the link here. So we go ahead and click that. And uh, we can go and click download style. Same thing. Go ahead and uh, once it's downloaded, go ahead and click it. Yeah. So this is the this is the window that you'll get, and it gives you uh, a bunch of options to change this style. We're gonna go ahead and click file, save as, and we're just going to save it uh, as APA seventh edition or or whatever. And now it's saved. We can close. And now up here we should be able to go uh, to our drop down and we're going to click select another style. And this is our st style, style list. You can see there are probably hundreds. And you'll see that APA 7th edition uh, appears. So we can select that and click choose. Alright, so now we have APA 7th edition. Okay, so let's go ahead and import our eight citations into our Word document. So I'll fire up a word here. We'll start a blank topic, a blank document. Okay, so this is your reference page. One thing you need to do is put your cursor uh, where you want to start your references, which would be about right here. And if you notice that your word should automatically have uh, an EndNote tab now, so go ahead and uh, you don't have to click that, but um, We'll go ahead and go back over to EndNote. I want to actually want to show you this in a sideways menu. So go ahead and select your reference, whatever references you want to import. So you can just select them with a typical click, and then you can uh, select the top one, hold Shift, then click the bottom one, and it'll click, um, it'll select everything in between. Uh, with those selected, go ahead and click the quote icon, and it says Insert Citation. So go ahead and click that. All right, and you can see that it uh, automatically um, put our references over here. Now these are linked together. There, there's some sort of link that's going on, and uh, once you click this this up here, uh, you can you can edit it using a lot of these features here that I don't know uh, much about yet. But there is one problem that I ran into, and like for example, this one right here. This had, um, you know, this is not supposed to be capitalized. That's not, that's not supposed to be capitalized, and a lot of, a lot of these are not supposed to be capitalized. I had a whole lot in mind um, that were not the right capitalization, and so what I did um, is I went back to EndNote over here. We'll make this big, and uh, you can go to Edit, and then Output Styles. And then you can edit APA 7th edition. 
And that brings you to that original uh, menu that we got when we first uh, downloaded this set edition. And under bibliography, we can click title capitalization. And if you don't click leave tiles as entered, I mean, um, I mean that's that's going to leave them how they are. But sometimes they're wrong. So I click sentence style capitalization, uh, and then just close that, save it, and then we can open our Word document. And then we can do update citation right here, which will update that link. And you can see that this just got changed. And so now I'd go back and I would change, um, I would change my proper nouns back. Uh, another thing uh, that I had a problem with was I had a problem with getting rid of these links. It seems to be working now, but one thing that I, that helped me out is once I got all my references into Word document, I went ahead and, and um, I just made them into a plain text by just uh, what it does. It ends that link between EndNote and Word, and it makes this a little bit easier to work with. It it just functions like normal text once you do this. So uh, under Convert Citations and Bibliography, uh, you can do Convert to Plain Text. And then you just click continue. Now what that does, it, it, it uh, removes that link uh, between, so now it operates like a normal, just like normal word text. And so I can delete this. I can go in there and make uh, any types of changes. Delete that. See, I had a problem. If I would delete something, it would delete the whole thing. And so now I can go to this. And now for the most part, um, Looks like all my references, my, my reference page is, is ready to go.